Forest Service in Jackson has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Simpson County in central Mississippi, Northeastern Lincoln County in south central Mississippi, Northwestern Lawrence County in south central Mississippi, Eastern Kapaya County in central Mississippi, until 2, 45 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 1, 55 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Wesson, or 10 miles south of Haslinghurst, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, golf ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Rockport and Oma around 2, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope well around 2, 15 p.m. Central Standard Time. Union around 2, 20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Harrisville around 2, 25 p.m. Central Standard Time. Pinola around 2, 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Beauregard and Georgetown. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Rankin County in central Mississippi, Simpson County in central Mississippi, northeastern Lincoln County in south central Mississippi, northern Lawrence County in south central Mississippi, southeastern Kapaya County in central Mississippi, until 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 2, 07 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sontag, or 13 miles northeast of Brookhaven, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Oma around 2, 15 p.m. Central Standard Time. Rockport around 2, 20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Union and Shivers around 2, 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Pinola around 2, 35 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mendenhall around 2, 45 p.m. Central Standard Time. McGee and Sanatorium around 2, 50 p.m. Central Standard Time. Martinville around 2, 55 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include New Hebron, Delo and Braxton. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Simpson County in central Mississippi, northern Smith County in central Mississippi, until 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 3, 02 p.m. Central Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located over Martinville, or 8 miles north of McGee, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and quarter-size hail. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic storm will be near White Oak around 3, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Raleigh around 3, 20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Burns around 3, 25 p.m. Central Standard Time. Pineville around 3, 35 p.m. Central Standard Time. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move 
move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Jackson has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Simpson County in central Mississippi, central Lincoln County in south central Mississippi, northern Lawrence County in south central Mississippi, southeastern Capaya County in central Mississippi, northwestern Jefferson Davis County in south central Mississippi, until 4, 15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 3, 09 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over West Lincoln, or 8 miles southwest of Brookhaven, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Brookhaven and Enterprise around 3.20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sontag around 3.35 p.m. Central Standard Time. Winona around 3.40 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oma and Rockport around 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Shivers around 3.55 p.m. Central Standard Time. Pinola around 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Bonagard, New Hebron and Georgetown. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning for Yazoo County in central Mississippi until 4, 15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 3.20 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Phoenix, or 16 miles east of Valley Park, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, Tinsley around 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Little Yazoo around 3.35 p.m. Central Standard Time. Miraville around 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Benton around 3. 50 p.m. Central Standard Time. Vaughn around 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Satasha and Bentonia. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. For Davidson County in Middle Tennessee, Marshall County in Middle Tennessee, Rutherford County in Middle Tennessee, Maury County in Middle Tennessee, Williamson County in Middle Tennessee, Wilson County in Middle Tennessee, Bedford County in Middle Tennessee, until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.06 p.m. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. This will cause minor flooding in the advisory area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Murfreesboro, Franklin, Columbia, Lebanon, Shelbyville, Lewisburg, Nashville, Smyrna, Brentwood, La Verne, Spring Hill, and Mount Juliet. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Significant... Tornado warning for southeastern Rutherford.
Bedford County in Middle Tennessee, Northwestern Coffee County in Middle Tennessee, Central Bedford County in Middle Tennessee, until 7.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 6.47 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Shelbyville, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southeastern Rutherford, northwestern Coffee, and central Bedford counties, including the following locations, Beechgrove, Season, Bellbuckle, Fosterville, and Wartrace. This includes Interstate 24 between mile markers 91 and 106. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service The National Weather Service in Nashville has issued a flash flood warning for Northwestern Overton County in Middle Tennessee, Northwestern Pickett County in Middle Tennessee, Smith County in Middle Tennessee, Northwestern DeKalb County in Middle Tennessee, Jackson County in Middle Tennessee, Clay County in Middle Tennessee, Southeastern Macon County in Middle Tennessee, West Central Putnam County in Middle Tennessee, until 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.36 p.m. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Carthage, Selina, Gainsboro, Gordonsville, Red Boiling Springs, Hickman, South Carthage, Dowelltown, Moss, Whitleyville, Pleasant Shade, Granville, Dale Hollow Lake and Standing Stone State Park. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Here is the forecast mid 40s. South winds up to 5 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight. Chance of precipitation 90%. Thursday, patchy fog in the morning. Cloudy with a 50% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 40s. Northwest winds 5... Service in Nashville has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Smith County in Middle Tennessee, western DeKalb County in Middle Tennessee, Rutherford County in Middle Tennessee, northwestern Warren County in Middle Tennessee, Wilson County in Middle Tennessee, Cannon County in Middle Tennessee, until 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 7.58 p.m. Central Standard Time, rain and thunderstorms were decreasing. However, significant rainfall had caused some flash flooding, and flooding is still ongoing. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Murfreesboro, Lebanon, McMinnville, Woodbury, Smyrna, Watertown, Walter Hill, Alexandria, Dowelltown, Liberty, Albantown, Centertown, Las Casas, Tucker's Crossroads, Cedars of Lebanon State Park, Rockvale, Bradyville, Milton, Gladeville, and Raddyville. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Here is the forecast for Nashville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for Rutherford County in western North Carolina, 
Hold County in Western North Carolina until 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday. At 7.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy showers with embedded thunderstorms moving into Polk and Rutherford counties this morning. Moderate to heavy rain will fall on top of already saturated soils. Rapid rises and flooding along streams around the Green River are likely as well as tributaries to the Broad River. Expect the typical flooding of low-lying areas around Greater Columbus and Rutherford and Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Forest City, Rutherford, Columbus, Spendale, Tryon, Lake Lower, Saluda, Ellenboro, Bostick and Chimney Rock Village. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names and other landmarks. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for the mountains of northeast Georgia and western North Carolina. Inches for February. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 7.28 inches, which is 2.79 inches above normal. There were four heating degree days yesterday, which is 17 below normal. This brings the monthly total to 54, which is 52 below normal. The yearly total since July 1st is 1,727, which is 289 below normal. There were no cooling degree days yesterday, which is normal. This leaves the monthly... Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for Spartanburg County in upstate South Carolina until 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday. At 7.37 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated moderate to heavy rain showers with embedded thunderstorms across the warned area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen from these storms. Resin Creek is likely already flooding near its confluence with the Middle Tiger River, partially flooding Mount Lebanon Church Road. As the rainfall amounts increase, roads below Lake Lyman near the recycling center will begin to flood. Expect the typical flooding of low-lying areas around Greater Spartanburg. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Spartanburg, Boiling Springs, South Carolina, Duncan, Lyman, Landrum, Cowpens, Welford, Inman, Mayo and Roebuck. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names and other landmarks. The Greenville Spartanburg, South Carolina Climate Summary for yesterday, February 5th. This is the North Weather Radio All Hazards, WXJ21 broadcasting from the SCE TV Tower on Paris Mountain in Greenville County. Operating on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. This transmitter is serving the upstate of South Carolina. The current time is 8.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a river flood product for the following counties in South Carolina, Dewberry and Union. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a flood warning for the Enelry River at Whitmire from Friday morning to Sunday evening, or until the warning is canceled. At 5 a.m. Thursday, the stage was 16.8 feet. Flood stage is 25.0 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. Forecast. 
The river will rise above flood stage tomorrow late morning and crest around 26.5 feet after midnight Saturday morning. The river will fall below flood stage Saturday, February 8th. At 25.0 feet, river Botomon near and downstream from Whitmire become flooded. Safety message, never drive vehicles through flooded areas. The water may be too deep to allow safe passage. Never allow children to play in or near flood waters. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, local media or the internet for further statements and updated forecasts. The Greenville Spartanburg, South Carolina climate summary for yesterday, February 5, 2020. Yesterday's high temperature of 64 degrees occurred at 3.43 p.m. The record high is 77 degrees. Yesterday's low temperature of 57 occurred at 5.58 a.m. The record low is 7 degrees. The average temperature was 61 degrees. The normal average is 44. 0.25 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.41 inches below the normal amount of 0.67 inches for February. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 7.28 inches, which is 2.79 inches above normal. There were four heating degree days yesterday, which is 17 below normal. This brings the monthly total to 54, which is 52 below normal. The yearly total since July 1st is 1,727, which is 289 below normal. There were no cooling degree days yesterday, which is normal. This leaves the monthly total at zero, which is normal. The yearly total since January 1st is zero, which is normal. Boston and Chimney Rock Village. When it is safe to do so. Or landslide. Boats or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll free 1 800 267 8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast. Let's go to the Freaks and issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Polk County in western North Carolina, northeastern Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, northwestern Spartanburg County in upstate South Carolina, until 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 9.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 5 miles southwest of Columbus to 7 miles northwest of Greenville downtown, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include, Beria, Traveler's Rest, Landrum, Inman, Tryon, Campo Bello, Paris Mountain State Park, Lake Bowen, Tigerville and Lake Robinson. Scattered trees and power lines will be blown down in the warned area. Seek shelter inside an interior room. These storms are also producing extremely heavy rainfall. Flooding of drainage ditches and low-lying areas may occur. Small streams will rise rapidly. Do not drive through areas where water is flowing over the road. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Polk, North Carolina, and the following counties, in South Carolina, Greenville and Spartanburg. <coughs> the National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has Push, issued a away from storm drains. Owners of small ponds should monitor pond levels and dam integrity. The flash flood warning remains in effect until noon Eastern Standard Time for Greenville County. 
at 8.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Doppler radar indicates a new line of very heavy rainfall producing thunderstorms moving into the northern part of the county. The escapement area has already received around 4 inches of rain in the last 24 hours and the additional heavy rainfall could begin producing landslides across steep terrains possible crossing area roadways. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Greenville Downtown, Greenville East Side, West Greenville, Greer, Malden, Taylors, Simpsonville, Beria, Five Forks and Welcome. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Do not attempt to cross water-covered roadways, bridges, or low-level crossings. Only a few inches of rapidly flowing water can carry away your vehicle. It is not worth the risk. Please turn around, don't drown. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names and other landmarks. This is the NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards, WXJ21 broadcasting from the SCE TV Tower on Paris Mountain in Greenville County, operating on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. This transmitter is serving the upstate of South Carolina. The current time is 9.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for northeast Georgia, the foothills and Piedmont of western North Carolina, and upstate South Carolina. Scattered to numerous thunderstorms are expected to develop across the region today through this evening ahead of an advancing cold front. Some of the thunderstorms may well become strong to severe, with damaging wind gusts possible in addition to cloud-to-ground lightning. A few brief, isolated tornadoes will be possible, especially along and southeast of Interstate 85 this afternoon and evening. Plan now for the actions that you will take if severe thunderstorm or tornado watches or warnings are issued today. This is especially important if you in a mobile home. Make arrangements now to flee quickly to a nearby, sturdier structure if warnings are issued for your location. Spotters are requested to forward any reports of large hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, or flash flooding to our office. The National Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for Pickens County in upstate South Carolina, Oconee County in upstate South Carolina, until 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 5.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, rainfall across the Warren counties has already accumulated up to 2 inches, with localized 3 inches of rain in the mountains. Given the already wet conditions, and with stream levels rising, the threat for additional heavy showers and a few thunderstorms will produce an additional inch or two of rainfall along with the threat of high rainfall rates. This will lead to flooded roads and cause streams and creeks to rise out of their banks. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas. <coughs> The National Weather Service in Raw has issued a flood warning for the Dan River near Wentworth from late tonight until late Friday night at 8 a.m. Thursday the stage was 3.6 feet. Flood stage is 19.0 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. Forecast, rise above flood stage by early tomorrow and continue to rise to near 20.4 feet by tomorrow early afternoon the river will fall below flood stage by tomorrow evening. Impact, at 19.5 feet, Dan Valley Road and River Road in Madison are closed by flood waters. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 20.0 feet on December 25, 2015. And end. Here are the 9 a.m. observations from around the area. In Roanoke, rain and fog were reported. The 
temperature was 42 degrees. The dew point village, Glen Alpine and Old Fort. Heavy rainfall will cause plumbing of water in urban areas, streets and underpasses, as well as other poor drainage areas and low-lying spots. Rapid rises on small creeks and streams will also occur, possibly flooding low water crossings and farmland. Do not attempt to travel across flooded roads. Turn around, don't drown. Only when it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for the mountains of northeast Georgia and western North Carolina. Scattered thunderstorms are expected to develop across the region today ahead of an advancing cold front. Some of the thunderstorms may become strong to severe, with damaging wind gusts possible in addition to cloud-to-ground lightning. A brief, isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Snow showers will develop behind the departing cold front late tonight through Friday. Light snow accumulations are expected across the mountains, especially at elevations above 3,500 feet where a couple of inches will be possible. Two to four inches of snow will be possible along the highest ridge tops around the Great Smoky Mountains. Spotters are requested to forward any reports of large hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, or flash flooding to our office. Here is a flood statement. Flash flood watch remains in effect through this evening. The flash flood watch continues for portions of northeast Georgia and western North Carolina, including the following areas in northeast Georgia. Travel around 10, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Kraus and Vale. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag WSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cleveland, Gaston and Lincoln. The National Weather Service in Greenville. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 27, effective until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties in Georgia: Banks, Albert, Franklin, Hart, and Stevens, and the following counties in North Carolina: Anson, Cabarrus. Catawba, Cleveland, Davidson, Davy, Gaston, Argyle, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Montgomery, Polk, Richmond, Rowan, Rutherford, Stanley and Union, and the following counties in South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Greenwood, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union and York. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information.
Repeating, Tornado Watch number 27 has been issued until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, in Georgia, Banks, Albert, Franklin, Hart and Stevens, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Anton, Cabarrus, Catawba, Cleveland, Davidson, Davy, Gaston, Argyle, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Montgomery, Polk, Richmond, Ryan, Rutherford, Stanley and Union, and the following counties, in South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Greenwood, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union and York. The current time is 10.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the Noah Weather Radio All Hazards, KJY 85. Rainfall of five in storms has been associated with an increased risk of landslides and rock slides. If you live on a mountainside or in a cove at the base of a mountain, especially near a stream, be ready to leave in advance of the storm or as quickly as possible should rising water, moving earth, or rocks threaten. Consider postponing travel along mountain roads during the period of heavy rainfall. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings... Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for McDowell County in Western North Carolina, Caldwell County in Western North Carolina, Burke County in Western North Carolina, until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 10.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Up to three inches of rain have already fallen and an ashiel in one to two inches is possible over the next few hours. Emergency management in Caldwell County has indicated many streams are at bankful or out of their banks at this time. Flash flooding is likely ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Lenore, Morganton, Marion, Sawmills, Granite Falls, Valdez, Gainwell, Hudson, Eichard and Cage of Mountain. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, highways, and underpasses. Additionally, country roads and farmlands along the banks of creeks, streams, and other low-lying areas are subject to flooding. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names and other landmarks. Here is a flood statement. Flash flood watch remains in effect through this evening. The flash flood watch continues for portions of northeast Georgia and western North Carolina, including the following areas in northeast Georgia, Abertam and Raven. In western North Carolina, Avery, Buncombe, Burke Mountains, Caldwell Mountains, Graham, Haywood, Henderson, Macon, Madison, McDowell Mountains, Mitchell, Northern Jackson, Polk Mountains, Rutherford Mountains, Southern Jackson, Swain, Transylvania, and Yancey. Through this evening heavy rainfall is already occurring over the mountains early this morning. Rainfall rates will increase today, with rates of one half to one inch per hour possible in the heaviest downpours. Most mountain locations have already received one to two inches of rainfall, with some spots in the Smokies already seeing three inches of rain. It is quite likely...
National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Southern Anderson County in upstate South Carolina until 10.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 10.28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm producing a tornado was located 7 miles southeast of Hartwell, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, Star, Homeland Park, Iowa and Anderson Airport around 10.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Broadway Lake and Sadler's Creek State Park. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Anderson, South Carolina. Tornado watch number 27 remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern. Mary, Oconee, Dickens, Spartanburg, Union, and York. This is the North Carolina Mountain and Foothills Report, which includes the high and low temperatures and precipitation for the 24-hour period ending around 7 a.m. this morning. To each mountain, the high was 50 and the low 46. Rainfall, 1.39. Boom, the high was 57 and the low 50. Rainfall, 1.52. Bryson, the city, the high was 58 and the low 52. Rainfall, 3.04. Andersonville, the high was 58 and the low 55. Rainfall, 2.23. Highlands, the high was 54 and the low 52. Rainfall, 4.22. Hot Springs, the high was 62 and the low 55. Rainfall, 2.34. Jefferson, the high was 59 and the low 52. Rainfall, 0.98. Marshall, the high was 57 and the low 50. Rainfall, 1.48. Morganton, the high was 63 and the low 52. Rainfall, 1.46. Mount Mitchell, the high was 45 and the low 41. Murphy, the high was 63 and the low 47. Rainfall, 2.70. Robbinsville, the high was 60 and the low 56. Rainfall, 3.06. It's through the line, the high was 56 and the low 44. Rainfall, 1.48. In at Waynesville, the high was 81 and the low 54. Rainfall, 2.96. Please follow the 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time observations on Thursday, February 6. At the Nashville Airport, rain was falling. The temperature was 57 degrees. The 2.54 and the relative humidity 89%. The wind was northwest at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.54 inches. Albert, in Franklin, Hart, and Stevens. In North Carolina, Alexander, Cabarrus, Catawba, Cleveland, Davy, Eastern McDowell, Eastern Polk, Gaston, Greater Burke, Greater Caldwell, Greater Rutherford, Ardell, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Warren, and Union, North Carolina. In upstate South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Greater Greenville, Greater Oconee, Greater Pickens, Greenville Mountains, Greenwood, Lawrence, Oconee Mountains, Pickens Mountains, Spartanburg, Union, South Carolina, and York. Through this evening widespread heavy rainfall is already occurring across the region this morning. The rainfall will increase in intensity today, and rainfall rates up to one inch per hour will be likely in the heaviest showers and thunderstorms. This could cause flooding to develop rapidly in low-lying areas. Rapid
rapid rises above banks flow along streams and creeks are likely to occur, along with the threat of flooded roads. Flooding is also likely to occur on larger rivers, and this flooding would linger through Friday or beyond. Storm total rainfall through Thursday evening may be as much as 2 to 4 inches across the area, with locally higher amounts varying.
Cargill, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Milan, and Union, North Carolina. In upstate South Carolina, Appleton, Cherokee, Chester, Greater Greenville, Greater Oconee, Greater Pickens, Greenville Mountains, Greenwood, Lawrence, Oconee Mountains, Pickens Mountains, Spartanburg, Union, South Carolina, and York. Through this evening widespread heavy rainfall is already occurring across the region this morning. The rainfall will increase in intensity today, and rainfall rates up to one inch per hour will be likely in the heaviest showers and thunderstorms. This could cause flooding to develop rapidly in low-lying areas. Rapid rises above banks or along streams and creeks are likely to occur, along with the threat of flooded roads. Flooding is also likely to occur on larger rivers, and this flooding would linger through Friday or beyond. Storm total rainfall through Thursday evening may be as much as 2 to 4 inches across the area, with locally higher amounts very near the mountains. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Lincoln County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Central Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southern Cleveland County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Northwestern U Locations impacted Gastonia, Uptown Charlotte, Huntersville, Shelby, Central Charlotte, Northeast Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, Cornelius, Kings Mountain and Mount Holly. Scattered trees and power lines will be blown down in the warned area. Seek shelter inside an interior room. This storm is also producing extremely heavy rainfall. Flooding of drainage ditches and low-lying areas may occur. Small streams will rise rapidly. Do not drive through areas where water is flowing over the road. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cleveland, Gaston, Lincoln and Mecklenburg, and the following counties in South Carolina, Cherokee and York. a tornado warning for northwestern Lawrence County in upstate South Carolina, southeastern Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, east central Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, until 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 10.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located five miles southeast of Anderson, or over Biltmore Park, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source. Radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, Belton around 10.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Williamston and West Pelzer around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fountain Inn and Simpsonville around 11.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Broadway Lake and Fort Shoals. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Please report damaging winds, hail, 
or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg, can underpasses, as well as other poor drainage areas and low-lying spots. Rapid rises on small creeks and streams will also occur, possibly flooding low water crossings and farmland. Do not attempt to travel across flooded roads. Turn around, don't drown. Only when it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. The current time is 10.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the No Weather Radio All Hazards, KJY85 broadcasting from the Iredell County Emergency Communications... in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Cleveland County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, southeastern Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 10.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 10 miles southeast of Shelby, or near Grover, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Crowder's Mountain State Park and Kings Mountain around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gastonia, South Gastonia and Bessemer City around 11.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ramah, Lowell, McCaddenville, Dallas and Cramerton around 11.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Belmont around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Crowders. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cleveland, and Gaston. This is the North Weather Radio All Hazards, KAY85 broadcasting from the Iredell County Emergency Communications Tower in Mooresville, North Carolina, operating on a frequency of 162.525... Severe thunderstorm warning for Forsyth County in Central North Carolina, Davidson County in Central North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 10.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Coolamy, or seven miles south of Moxville, moving east at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. 
Locations impacted include Winston-Salem, Lexington, Thomasville, Kernersville, Clemens, Bermuda Run, Huntsville, Linwood, High Rock Lake, and Louisville. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central North Carolina. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Straight line winds can blow down trees, power lines, and damage mobile homes and other buildings. Stay away from windows as flying debris generated by damaging winds can be deadly. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Davidson, North Carolina. Tornado watch number 27 remains on near Blacksburg, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include, Gastonia, Uptown Charlotte, Hunters... Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Western Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Central Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a tornado-producing storm was located four miles southwest of Gastonia, or near South Gastonia, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Randolph, Lowell, and Dallas around 11.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Southwest Charlotte, Paw Creek, Belmont, Lake Wiley and Charlotte Douglas Airport around 11.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uptown Charlotte, Central Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, Hidden Valley and the Plaza around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Downtown Concord, Harrisburg, Charlotte Motor Speedway, West Concord and University City around 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Crowders and Croft. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. The National Weather Service in... Rapidly change in weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 27 remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, in Georgia, Banks, Albert, Franklin, Hart and Stevens, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Anson, Cabarrus, Catawba, Cleveland, Davidson, Davie, Gaston, Ardell, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Montgomery, Polk, Richmond, Moran, Rutherford, Stanley and Union, and the following counties, in South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Greenwood, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union and York. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Davie County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, northern Rowan County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, until 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for Forsyth.
Forsyth County in Central North Carolina, Northern Davidson County in Central North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 8 miles southeast of Clemens, or 9 miles north of Lexington, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of Forsyth and northern Davidson counties, including the following locations, Rural Hall, Arcadia, Fasttown, Stanleyville, and Bowers Lake. This tornado warning replaces the severe thunderstorm warning issued for the same area. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Charlotte, Northeast Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, Cornelius, Kings Mountain and Mount Holly. Scattered trees and power lines will be blown down in the warned area. Seek shelter inside an interior room. This storm is also producing extremely heavy rainfall. Flooding of drainage ditches and low-lying areas may occur. Small streams will rise rapidly. Do not drive through areas where water is flowing over the road. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page, or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Lawrence County in upstate South Carolina, east central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, southern Spartanburg County in upstate South Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 13 miles northwest of Lawrence, or near Fountain Inn, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Woodruff around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Ennery, Pauline and Cross Anchor. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Greenville, Lawrence and Spartanburg. The flash flood warning for Pickens County is canceled. The flash flood warning has been replaced by a flash flood emergency. Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, northern Abbeville County in upstate South Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 11 miles east of Hardwell, or near Star, 
moving east at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, start and I have around 11.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lake Secession and Homeland Park around 11.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hania Path, Donalds, Shoals Junction and due west around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where Shoals around 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Anterville and Broadway Lake. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 11.45 a.m. E product for the following counties. Greater Greenville, Greater Oconee, Greater Pickens, Greenville Mountains, Greenwood, Lawrence, Oconee Mountains, Pickens Mountains, Spartanburg, Union, South Carolina, and York. Through this evening widespread heavy rainfall is already occurring across the region this morning. The rainfall will increase in intensity today, and rainfall rates up to one inch per hour will be likely in the heaviest showers and thunderstorms. This could cause flooding to develop rapidly in low-lying areas. Rapid rises above banks along streams and creeks are likely to occur, along with the threat of flooded roads. Flooding is also likely to occur on larger rivers, and this flooding would linger through Friday or beyond. Storm total rainfall through Thursday evening may be as much as 2 to 4 inches across the area, with locally higher amounts very near the mountains. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. The National Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg. in Raleigh has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Forsyth County in Central North Carolina, Northeastern Davidson County in Central North Carolina, Northern Randolph County in Central North Carolina, Guilford County in Central North Carolina, until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Pine Hall to 7 miles west of High Point to Linwood, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Greensboro, High Point, Ashboro, Lexington, Randleman, Thomasville, Kernersville, McLeansville, Archdale, and Summerfield. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central North Carolina. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Straight line winds can blow down trees, power lines, and damage mobile homes and other buildings. Stay away from windows as flying debris generated by damaging winds can be deadly. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Davidson, North Carolina. National Weather Service in, Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued.
Tornado warning for Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Central Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, until noon Eastern Standard Time. At 11.21 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed dangerous tornado was located 7 miles east of Gastonia, or over Belmont, moving east at 45 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Uptown Charlotte, Central Charlotte, Hidden Valley, the Plaza, and Northwest Charlotte around 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Harrisburg, University City, Reedy Creek Park, Charlotte Motor Speedway, and East Charlotte around 11.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Downtown Concord, West Concord, Mount Pleasant, and Midland around noon Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Croft. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag end the Here is a flood...
only a few inches of rapidly flowing water can carry away. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Central Lawrence County in upstate South Carolina until noon Eastern Standard Time. At 11.37 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 16 miles west of Lawrence, or near where shells, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Waterloo around 11.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lawrence and Clinton around noon Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Hickory Tavern and Aura. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until noon Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Lawrence, South Carolina. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg, County, Eastern Standard Time. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located four miles northwest of Uptown Charlotte, or over northwest Charlotte, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Hidden Valley, East Charlotte and Northeast Charlotte around 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Harrisburg, Charlotte Motor Speedway, University City, West Concord and Reedy Creek Park around 11.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Downtown Concord, Mount Pleasant and Midland around noon Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous storm include Croft. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flood... Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, southeastern Rowan County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Kannapolis, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Rockwell and Faith around noon Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Gold Hill. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris.
please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cabarrus and Glenn. In effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central North Carolina. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Straight line winds can blow down trees, power lines, and damage mobile homes and other buildings. Stay away from windows as flying debris generated by damaging winds can be deadly. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Davidson, North Carolina. A tornado warning remains in effect until noon Eastern Standard Time for Cabarrus and Central Mecklenburg counties. At 11.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located four miles northwest of Uptown Charlotte, or over northwest Charlotte, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be... Service in Raleigh has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Davidson County in central North Carolina, western Montgomery County in central North Carolina, southern Randolph County in central North Carolina, Stanley County in central North Carolina, until 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from six miles east of Linwood to East Charlotte, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Asheboro, Albemarle, Troy, Maiden Lake, North Carolina Zoo, Seagrove, Plyler, Midland, Locust, and Norwood. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central North Carolina. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Straight line winds can blow down trees, power lines, and damage mobile homes and other buildings. Seek shelter in a sturdy structure until the storm has passed. Stay away from windows as flying debris generated by damaging winds can be deadly. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Davidson, Montgomery, and Stanley. A severe thunderstorm warning of 45 at Greensboro and 62 at Raleigh-Durham. Rain was falling with a temperature of 58 at Statesville, 63 at Knoxville, 57 at Bristol. 42 at Roanoke, and 50 at Bluefield. At Charlotte, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. In South Carolina, and North Georgia, at Atlanta, rain was falling, with a temperature of 64. At Greenville Spartanburg, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 60. Once again at 11 a.m., at the Hickory Airport, it was 58 degrees rain was falling. This is the North Carolina Mountain and Foothills Report which includes the high and low temperatures and precipitation for the 24-hour period ending around 7 a.m. this morning. Beach Mountain, the high was 50 and the low 46. Rainfall, 1.39. Boone, the high was 57 and the low 50. Rainfall, 1.52. Bryson City, the high was 58 and the low 52. Rainfall, 3.04. Hendersonville, the high was 58. Service in Black.
Blacksburg has issued a flash flood warning for Surrey County in northwestern North Carolina, Wilkes County in northwestern North Carolina. Producing a tornado was located 12 miles southeast of Salisbury, or near Rockwell, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radiation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Cabarrus and southeastern Rowan counties, including the following locations, Gold Hill. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cabarrus and Gwen. a tornado warning for southeastern Davidson County in central North Carolina, northwestern Montgomery County in central North Carolina, southwestern Randolph County in central North Carolina, northeastern Stanley County in central North Carolina, until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was reported near Kannapolis with this storm. The storm is currently located near Rockwell, or 12 miles southeast of Salisbury, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado near Kannapolis. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near, baiting late around 12.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Newsom, Pineland Marina, El Dorado, Bacon and Morrow Mountain State Park. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has... This stream is currently inactive. Please check later for availability. Gaston, the stream Greater Burke, Greater Caldwell, Greater Rutherford, Ardell, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Rowan, and Union, North Carolina. In upstate South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Greater Greenville, Greater Oconee, Greater Pickens, Greenville Mountains, Greenwood, Lawrence, Oconee Mountains, Pickens Mountains, Spartanburg, Union, South Carolina, and York. Through this evening widespread heavy rainfall is already occurring across the region this morning. The rainfall will increase in intensity today, and rainfall rates up to one inch per hour will be likely in the heaviest showers and thunderstorms. This could cause flooding to develop rapidly in low-lying areas. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Central Lawrence County in upstate South Carolina until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles south of Lawrence, or near Waterloo, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. 
Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Clinton and Joanna around 12.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Mountville. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. In South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Greenwood, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union, and York. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 27 remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following count. The tornado warning for Northeastern Cabarrus County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area, therefore the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Piedmont of North Carolina. A tornado warning remains in effect 12.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Southeastern Rowan County. At 12.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 11 miles northwest of Baden Lake, or 7 miles east of Rockwell, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado damage. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include High Rock and Gold Hill. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging wind, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Moran, North Carolina. Toll free 1 800 
1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cabarrus, Gaston, Mecklenburg and Union, and York, South Carolina. Tornado watch number 27 remains in effect until 5 p.m. during the next few hours. Upgrades to warnings area possible. Some locations that will experience flooding include Gastonia, Huntersville, Hickory, Statesville, Shelby, Newton, Gaffney, Lincolnton, Moxville, and Taylorsville. Heavy rainfall will cause ponding of water in urban areas, streets, and underpasses, as well as... Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Southern Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Northwestern Union County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, until 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located nine miles northwest of Indian Land, or over Carowinds, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near the Arboretum and South Charlotte around 12.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stallings, Henry Bridge, Matthews, Lake Park and Indian Trail around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fairview in Union County around 12.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Mecklenburg and Union. A tornado warning remains in effect until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for southeastern Davidson. Northwestern the two inches of rain has already fallen, and an additional one to two inches is possible this afternoon. Flash flood warnings may be needed. Some locations that will experience flooding include Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point, Burlington, Asheboro, Lexington, Graham, Randleman, Siler City, and North Carolina Zoo. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. The National Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued urban and small stream flood advisory for Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Eastern Davie County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Ruan County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Union County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Chester County in upstate South Carolina, York County in upstate South Carolina, until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar is showing a line of thunderstorms producing high rainfall rates moving into the advisory area. This line of storms will train over the same... Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
at 12.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 13 miles south of downtown Concord, or near Midland, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southeastern Cabarrus County. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Cabarrus, North Carolina. The tornado warning for southeastern McLeod County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area, therefore the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Piedmont of North Carolina. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued urban and small stream flood advisory for Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Davidson County in Central North Carolina, Anson County in Central North Carolina, Montgomery County in Central North Carolina, Western Richmond County in Central North Carolina, Southwestern Randolph County in Central North Carolina, Stanley County in Central North Carolina, until 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near High Rock Lake to near Hemby Bridge to near Indian Land, moving east at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Lexington, Albemarle, Rockingham, Wadesboro, Troy, Maiden Lake, Bisco, Ansonville, Plyler, and Linwood. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central North Carolina. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Straight line winds can blow down trees, power lines, and damage mobile homes and other buildings. Stay away from windows as flying debris generated by damaging winds can be deadly. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Anson, Davidson, Montgomery, Richmond, and Stanley. Tornado watch number 27 remains in effect so, until 5 p.m. Eastern. Please report waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has extended the flash flood warning for Greenville County in upstate South Carolina until 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.27 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated... Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, central Abbeville County in upstate South Carolina, northwestern Greenwood County in upstate South Carolina, and
until 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 15 miles northwest of Abbeville, or over Lake Secession, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include, Hania Path, where shoals, due west, Iva, Lake Secession, Donalds, Cocosberry, Hodges, Lonesville and Shoals Junction. Scattered trees and power lines will be blown down in the warned area. Seek shelter inside an interior room. This storm is also producing extremely heavy rainfall. Flooding of drainage ditches and low-lying areas may occur. Small streams will rise rapidly. Do not drive through areas where water is flowing over the road. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson and Greenwood. The National Weather Service in Greenville Spartan Forecast, the river will rise above minor flood states by this evening and continue to rise to near 14.0 feet by Friday morning. The river will fall below minor flood stage by Friday late evening. Impact, at 14.0 feet, homes along Old Eastley Bridge Road and along Fish Trap Road and Shady Acres areas will be flooded. Plus impact, at 13.0 feet, homes on Riverview Circle will be flooded. Most of Riverview Circle and parts of Riverview Drive will be flooded. Backwater on George's Creek will cause water to approach homes in Quail Heaven Subdivision in Pickens County. Moderate flooding occurs. Impact, at 11.5 feet, homes will be surrounded by water on Riverview Circle south of Highway 123 and parts of Riverview Drive will begin to flood. Plus impact, at 9. Point Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Lawrence County in upstate South Carolina, Southeastern Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, East Central Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, Northeastern Abbeville County in upstate South Carolina, Northwestern Greenwood County in upstate South Carolina, until 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 15 miles southeast of Anderson, or near Hania Path, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, minor hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include, Lawrence, Clement, Fountain Inn, Hania Path, Ware Shoals, Blue West, Gray Court, Donalds, Shoals Junction and Port Shoals. Scattered trees and power lines will be blown down in the warned area. Seek shelter inside an interior room. This storm is also producing extremely heavy rainfall. Flooding of drainage ditches and low-lying areas may occur. Small streams will rise rapidly. Do not drive through areas where water is flowing over the road. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Greenville, Greenwood and Lawrence. This is a river flood product for the following counties in South Carolina, Greenville and Pickens. For the National Weather
Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Central Union County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Lawrence County in Upstate South Carolina, Chester County in Upstate South Carolina, York County in Upstate South Carolina, Union County in Upstate South Carolina, until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 1.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen over the area and an additional line of strong thunderstorms will create flash flooding conditions. Area streams over Mecklenburg County including Briar Creek, McMullen Creek, and Sugar Creek are rising quickly and have reached or will reach flooding levels over the next hour. An evacuation due to flooding in Huntersville has also been reported. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Rock Hill, Uptown Charlotte, Huntersville, Monroe, Lawrence, Union, York, Chester, Central Charlotte and South Charlotte. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, highways, and underpasses. Additionally, country roads and farmlands along the banks of creeks, streams, and other low-lying areas are subject to flooding. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names and A tornado warning remains in effect until 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Southern Greenwood County. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a flash flood warning for Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 1.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to three inches of rain have already fallen and an additional one to two inches will fall over the next few hours. A rain gauge on the South Fork Catawba River at Lowell is rising rapidly toward moderate flood stage. Flash flooding are ongoing and will linger into the early evening. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Gastonia, Mount Holly, Belmont, Bessemer City, South Gastonia, Dallas, Stanley, Cramerton, Lowell and Reno. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, highways, and underpasses. Additionally, country roads and farmlands along the banks of creeks, streams, and other low-lying areas are subject to flooding. When it is safe to do so, please report flood waters or landslides flowing over roads or threatening property to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 by posting on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred, including roadways, nearby cross streets, stream names, and other landmarks. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has... has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Chester County in upstate South Carolina until 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 2.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 9 miles south of Rock Hill to 13 miles southwest of Chester, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, 
Expect damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include Great Falls, Fort Lawn, Richburg, Chester State Park, Cornwell, Asmere, Chester, Fishing Creek Reservoir and Blackstock. Scattered trees and power lines will be blown down in the warned area. Seek shelter inside an interior room. Please report damaging wind, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, Chester, South Carolina. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a severe Alabama. thunderstorm warning for chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, showers until midnight, then showers likely after midnight. Lows in the mid-40s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Friday, partly sunny with a chance of showers in the morning, then mostly sunny in the afternoon. Breezy, cooler with highs in the lower 50s. West winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday night, mostly clear. Cooler with lows in the upper 20s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Gusts up to 25 miles an hour until midnight. The extended forecast for the listening area. Saturday, mostly sunny in the morning, then mostly cloudy with a chance of rain in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 40s. Chance of rain 50%. Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of rain until midnight, then partly cloudy after midnight. Lows in the lower 30s. Chance of rain 40%. Sunday, sunny. Highs in the mid 50s. Sunday night, partly cloudy until midnight, then becoming mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 30s. Monday, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 60s. Chance of rain 50%. Monday night, rain likely. Lows. counties in North Carolina, Davidson and Davie. The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a flood warning for the Yadkin River at Yadkin College. From late tonight to late Saturday night, or until the warning is canceled. At 2 p.m. Thursday, the stage was 9.6 feet. Flood stage is 18.0 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage by after midnight tomorrow and continue to rise to near 24.3 feet by early Saturday morning. The river will fall below flood stage by Saturday early afternoon. Impact, at 23.0 feet, the upper campsites at the Thousand Trail Preserve off of 64 begin to flood. Now for the official National Weather Service... has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Fairfield County in Central South Carolina, Lancaster County in Central South Carolina, Northwestern Kershaw County in Central South Carolina until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 2.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Weddington to near Monticello, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roof, siding, and trees. Severe thunderstorms will be near, log on around 2.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fishing Creek Reservoir, Liberty Hill and Lake Watery State Park around 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include Lebanon Fire Station, Belltown Fire Station, Arrowwood Estates, Henderson Island, Mifford, Faith Christian School, Ryan. 
Carolina Commons Shopping Center, White Oak and Bear Creek Park. This includes Interstate 77 between mile markers 38 and 50. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central South Carolina. A tornado watch also remains in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Central South Carolina. A tornado watch remains in effect for the warned area. Conditions are favorable for tornadoes to form. Torrential rainfall is occurring with these storms and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Fairfield, and Lancaster. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a flood advisory for the Broad River in North Carolina at Boiling Springs. Until Friday.